Forex weekly analysis, trade signals, Forex news, everything that you need to know about Forex and commodities trading strategies for the next week coming. So welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel and in today's video guys I'm doing slightly different thing, I'm making a video, my detailed analysis on forex market so if you as you guys know i know i'm, I'm called crypto rocco because of my crypto videos i've been making cryptocurrency related videos for over three years people have been requesting me to make videos on the forex market and i've got a full trading strategy on forex market i mainly trade forex this is where i make most of my money from but i but i love cryptocurrency and i'll still be making cryptocurrency videos but due to request i thought i'll do a weekly anal analysis video on how i go about trading the forex market so i look at the news how i approach the markets the, the different markets i look at so when you're trading forex you need to know what's going on with the dollar index what's going on with the bond market the stock market so i'll be taking you through how i approach the market so if you guys want to get interested in in forex i know there's a couple of people that do trade forex my main uh, the trading uh, instrument that i use is oil this is where i make most of my money from so i, I started posting about uh, forex last week uh, i'll go through this as well some of the posts that i made on my thoughts on the next market coming up and how they played out some of these few people to the uh, gold trade that i posted and made money so i'll be doing sharing with you the next trades i'm looking to take so without further ado let's get into the video before i start guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel smash that like button and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button i do videos on cryptocurrencies but i will be doing a, a forex videos on this channel or maybe make another channel just for forex related and make a couple of videos on that channel let me know what you guys think but i'll see what the interest is like and then go from there so let's have a look at the stock market guys stock market my thoughts are you know stock markets are overextended but we don't know when it will crash it will get a pullback at some point it will get a huge pullback at some point but no one knows when we'll get that um, you know the way the the, P, the governments are printing money no one knows when we'll get that pullback there's going to be something that happens where we get a 50 percent 60 percent crash but when will that happen no one knows so at the moment i'm just using my trading strategies to carry on uh, trading uh, the stock market i'm not going to be looking for huge long trade low trades i know the economic data is pointing lower the, the economics are not looking as good for for the government's economic data that's coming out but you know the economic data is different for stock market if people keep buying stock market will carry on going up so at the start of the week I, was, I didn't really have a trading strategy for for stocks i was looking at stocks and i said if i get a setup i'll go long i didn't really get a setup in in the stock so i didn't long or taken a short some of the key things i'm looking for is i mean if it pulls back here maybe you could look for a short around this level but um, I'll probably look for look for longs maybe you know at, at the 50% Fibonacci zone or the 786 level those are two levels I could be looking out for if we break I mean the only time I'll probably look for shorts is when we break the daily support zone so if we rally and then break below that's when I look I mean we've not really broken the daily trend since back in I mean even here it's just a flush down probably back since last year we've not really broken and we've had dips but we've not really this one we were trying to break but we rallied so we've not really seen a, a, a breakdown in the stock market um, so at the moment I'm not really looking for shorts or I'll just use my trading strategies uh, if you guys are interested you can check it out this group is closing uh, this is open until the end of the month if you want the full rockstar trading course um, and also guys you'll get added to my added to my group for free so I'll be launching it this week for the people of people that are in this group and you'll get added to this group for free so we'll have a live group i'll i'll launch the websites I'll, I'll drop the links below here and then next thursday i'll probably share it with everyone so that's my thoughts on stock markets not as i'm not really got a trading strategy at the moment for the stock market for the the dollar index again i don't really trade the dollar index but i, I always keep an eye out for it so the dollar index had a, a big red day and it's not looking very bullish i think it will pull back to the two three i mean it said they're probably two three six fibonacci zone now i think it will probably pull to the daily 20 moving average and 382 level and if it does that when the dollar index is weak um the gold does quite well 
and if you guys know i love gold i've been trading gold heavily so on 15th of february last week i talked about a gold breakout and gold has been the best where's gold gone it's a bit annoying i don't know how to see that So yes, I posted it on the 15th, gold had a breakout and gold has just been carrying on. Let's have a look at gold. A couple of people took that trade, so you're welcome. And gold has been my best uh I mean, I've made more money on gold than oil this year. Usually, oil is my main. So, gold had a huge breakout mid last year, and it, this was a huge basing pattern that's been going on for seven years. So, this is something to take note of. And since then, guys, gold has been on a huge rally with the economic fears. Guys, gold is a safe haven when the uh, other when when there's risk in the market people buy gold and it has not looked back since I'm, buy, I'm as bullish on gold as i'm bullish on on bitcoin so i love 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 uh, gold it is coming into some resistance and you can see some of the trades i took and again this is not after the fact guys um i post exact signals of with stops when i'm buying when i'm selling i'll leave the links below if you want to want to check it out and again i'll share my thoughts on it here as well um so what am i looking for gold next week so i'm looking for a pullback again so i usually get in pullback so there was a pullback here i got in this one i took a breakout because it was looking quite bullish so i think it can carry on so that's why i bought it i bought it here sold it here when it broke out above i bought it again so if you ask me where i'll be looking to buy gold so if it pulls back to again around 162 level so let me, let me get rid of these Let me draw my Fibonacci. Again, you guys can do it as well. I've got a three hour video just on Fibonacci because it's such an important tool for me. So I will be looking sort of this zone to get into a pullback in gold and target around 168. If we break below here, guys, break below this support level. We've not really got much support level here. Yeah, this will probably be my stop sort of level. If we break below this zone, the 50% zone, I think gold will have a bigger pullback because it has been doing really well. So we can't get greedy if you guys know. It's it's had how many green candles? It has one, two, three, four big green candles. It can carry on and I could be targeting that. But as long as we stay above that zone and stay above, let's have a look at 618 level. This is a huge 618 level. I think we could be getting to 680, even 700 level to 786. So the gold is looking really good don't get greedy wait for a setup wait for a pullback trading strategy that we use to get in so that will be my gold trading strategy for next week bonds have been going quite well as well but i think bonds might be pulling back next week this is a huge resistance if we can break above the red zone i will look to buy but i think there's quite a few resistance there's trend line resistance coming in there's uh support and resistance coming up so if we do get a move up again above this red zone i will again use my hourly trading pullback strategy to get in i'll probably wait for a close above here guys i probably wouldn't get in now yeah if we break above again maybe i'll look at the four hourly moving average to get in on the long side yeah about the 380 Fibonacci level I probably went for 50 to 60 percent really on 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 US on bonds but gold is my favorite one silver I've not really been trading silver I've mainly been trading gold gold has been great to me oil so oil was my favorite one last week um, oil was my favorite probability setup and this is what i shared with you last week you can check the date when i posted it and what did oil do it didn't break out then it pulled back then it broke out and i got in at the hourly pullback when it did break out i think i got in here nice pullback big bullish green candle nice reset and a nice move up i sold most of it here guys um, i didn't huddle so i sold my trade here and i got stopped out in my rest so i took first half profit there and i got stopped out in this one and um, i might look to get again i mean it looks like it will push up as long as it stays above the red zone let's see 
yeah, the 50% Fibonacci. As long as it stays above the 50% Fibonacci level, I think we carry on higher. So that will be sort of what I look for in uh, in oil. I'll be looking to trade oil. I usually I even go down to the 15 minute time frame to get in gold. Um, and this was another trade setup. Uh, I've got RSI trading video strategy. I've got a free one in YouTube as well. You can check it out. And I've got an hour long video on on my course if you want to check it out so you can see big rsi divergence just above key zone 50 percent fibonacci zone and it has a big move up that was a really nice trading opportunity if you guys took it so that would be one of my favorite setups for next week and uh, nat gas is not looking as good i do keep an eye out for nat gas as well soybeans um, i love soybeans um the soybeans bounced off huge support I'll be looking to get in on a pullback in soybeans. As long as it stays above the red zone, I think soybeans can push up. I don't like the price action as much. This is not a clean price action. So I might not trade it to be honest. I'll probably leave it. So Euro has been another great one. So I said um, Euro is bearish, but it's, it's coming to an end. So we'll look for longs above 1.088. It's not really gone above that. It's it has a broke out above a nice basing pattern. This is a really nice basing pattern. So I will be looking to buy around here, guys. The forex market opens uh, in a few hours time in the UK. It's one of my favorite times of of the week when the forex market opens. We'll see what if we get any gaps. I was shorting the forex uh, the euro last week. Uh, if you guys remember, I was really shorting it the week before. And now I'll probably be looking for a relief rally. We've had a big green candle. I think we could be heading towards the daily moving average and there's trend line support as well i think this could be the zone that we could be coming towards so i will be looking to get in on a trade on a pullback to my hourly moving average rsi reset my indicator pointing up and there could be a decent trading opportunity here so that will be a trade i look for pound dollar um, i've not really got a trading strategy in pound dollar I think it's coming into resistance now. RSI is oversold, overbought. Yeah, I mean, if you ask me, I think it'll probably go lower from here. One of my favorite ones this week is Euro GBP. I traded heavily last week. So I took it short here, guys. I took it long here. So again, this is RSI divergence. Price makes it lower low. Um, RSI makes it lower high. It is a RSI divergence. We have a nice rally up. And I shorted it here as well because you can see there's a RSI getting extremely overbought. And on the shorter time frame, you can see price making higher high. Another nice little short entry. So Euro GBP, I'm still trading it. I, th I think it will push lower. I think it will push lower. So I will be looking for a breakdown get rid of that I will be looking for a breakdown of this and then trade a pullback so that will be a trade that I look for I think there's definitely some pound strength coming in the USD JBP I'm looking for longs it had a big breakout a big long consolidation we had a huge breakout so I will be looking to take a long in this, but I am not sure uh, where what my trading strategy will be. I'll probably look to buy the 618 level or if we break out above uh, the uh, 112 level. These are two levels I would be looking out for. So if we break out above here, I'll be using a pullback strategy. Or if we pull back to sort of the 618 level. I will be looking to take an entry there. It'll go down to the five minute, fifteen minute time frames, hourly time frames, look for a high probable setup and wait for my RSA indicator to start moving up. That those were we some of the trading strategies I look for. So those are some of the main ones. I will end with Bitcoin because, again, uh, I'm, I'm called Crypto Rocco, so I need to have a look on Bitcoin. With Bitcoin, guys, um, our trading strategy has been 
as long as we stay above this red zone I'm long so we came here this is a trading strategy I think it's a free signal that I provided this is a triple divergence I've got a chart pattern that I really use and this was a really really nice trade setup we had a huge move up about 4% move up we traded it and this was provided before not and after the fact we had a huge move up it came down below but we couldn't get below the red red zone this is a huge support level 236 Fibonacci one of my favorite favorite Fibonacci levels and um, yes we bounce from here again I think it is coming into potential resistance so I, will admit, I think it will probably struggle to get above this level if it gets above this level I'll probably I think this will be sort of the target I'm not gonna take longs now if we do this a trend chain above here above 10,300 level I'll probably look for longs but at the moment um, I've taken some profits this is a big pin bar you see one of the main candlestick patterns I look for look at RSI got up to 78 which is a huge RSI move so that is what I'm thinking but until we break below very simple terms until we break below the 236 Fibonacci level I don't know if you guys can see until we get a clean break below the 236 Fibonacci level I'm gonna be long in the market so that was my quick two seconds in Bitcoin if you guys don't trade Bitcoin keep an eye out for it there's lots of opportunities and long term I love 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 Bitcoin so thank you very much for watching this video guys I hope you guys have enjoyed it and um, let me know if you want me to go through more setups I've given you a high level analysis of how I approach the markets I do this every Sunday so and then I just watch the charts and um, have my alert set up so I'm not in front of the laptop all the time I can go do my own thing go to the gym travel whatever i want to do you know do mentoring so i've got like i said i've, I've got a course I, I teach people um but I, so it's really important to work hard you make money when the markets are not open and the cryptocurrency is open 24 7 but the analysis that you do the the pr preparation the tr straight strategies that you create before the market opens helps you make money from the market if you come into the market and you go buy and sell with emotions you're never gonna make money that's a quick way of losing all your money so let me know what you think about this video if you have if you do enjoy this I'll make more of these and then like I said Thursday for you guys on YouTube I will be releasing the website and um, I'll be doing a live stream on on Thursday next week I'm not doing a live stream today I'm gonna have new internet as well so it's gonna be really good to launch it on Thursday uh, you guys can I'll share with you guys this website but if you're if you're already in my group don't worry you'll get added to this group for free there's a couple of slots available and you also get the full cryptocurrency rockstar trading course news updates signals the whole lot if you join there's a couple of days left in this month if you still want to join this group i'll leave the links below so thank you very much guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and comment below your thoughts on the forex markets are there any forex pairs that you're looking at you're looking to buy gold or sell gold the stock market comment below and let's have a discussion so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much